5.09 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'm XRP Future Million and we have some breaking news. As you guys know by now, about uh, two, two hours and 25 minutes ago, two and a half hours ago, Fed Chair Powell said we were going to get a 75 basis point interest rate hike, which is what I predicted. I initially said 100, but then I heard the backpedaling by the uh, Fed Chair and then also some of the members of Congress and yada, yada, yada. So I predicted 75 basis point, which would be an immediate bounce up, like we'd have a bear trap bounce, which we're having. Um, I thought Bitcoin would either go to 22,900 plus, somewhere around there, and then, and or if it could hold that as support that 22,950 or it could go to 25,550. So we'll look at the charts after this, but Fed Chair Powell said after announcing a 75 base point interest rate increase that we wouldn't, the committee wouldn't hesitate to make an even larger move if necessary. So opening the door for next month where they could possibly go 100 or more. So now let's listen to this real quick and then we'll go, uh, we'll go into something else. Uh, that a 75 basis point increase was the right magnitude in light of the data uh, and in the context of the ongoing increases uh, in the policy rate that we've been making. I'd say that we wouldn't hesitate to, to make an even larger move than we did today if the committee were to conclude that that, was, that that were appropriate. That was not the case at this meeting. There was very broad support uh, for the move that we made. Uh, that a 75 basis point increase was the right magnitude in light of the data uh, and in the context of the ongoing increases uh, in the policy rate that we've been making. I'd say that we wouldn't hesitate to, to make an even larger move than we did today if the committee were to conclude that that, was, that that were appropriate. And then real quick, we made a massive trade today as well. We had, uh, if you want to be part of my big at the video description below, click the link. In my video description below this video, click my BitGap partnered link and then go to the copy trading section after you do that and type in XRP Future Millionaire. This was a copy trade today, about a two hour trade, maybe an hour and a half. We had 84.37%. So congratulations to anybody who shows that trust and faith in me. That's an easy way to support the show and also deposit bonus or um, depending on deposit size. And that includes transferring crypto from another exchange. You can get up to $5,000. So that's a pretty damn good thing. So now, Bitcoin, like I talked about, 22,988 was that first big target. When I was in, I rode this right here. I had bought it, and right after I bought XRP, we literally exploded. We came up here, reconsolidated, and I said, I'm going to play this next targeted move. Had some stuff to do this afternoon, and I was done. So I got in here with Bitcoin, and I was done. I didn't get the top. Never do. Didn't buy it at the bottom. Never have. But I made a nice 84% along the way. So I don't know a single person who's going to be mad about that. First trade I've made in four days. So to all the new people, because we're up to 80 people in the copy trading, which means we've had three new people since my last trade. What a hell of a way for you to start. So right now, Bitcoin 22,528 is that middle support, which happens to be right on the 200 day in the one minute, which is very important. So it's a good level to watch. So 22,528 is going to act as the pivot level right now. If we don't hold that, 21,259 would be a likely test right back down to support if we can't hold that. Obviously, or not obviously, 22,000 area is also another level of support. XRP, we exploded out. I bought it. I don't know what it was. 33, I don't know what it said. I'll be honest. 3340 something maybe, 3360 something. But I, I wrote it all the way from here in the extension and it literally, the pump happened less than 60 seconds after I bought it. It was that crazy. So I did everything I needed to do in that trade and I wasn't gonna get greedy. So now we're looking to see if we can hold support on this breakout of this tier. Likely at 34.85 would be the logical spot where we would come back down. Volume's crashing on the way up in the 30 minute time frame. So this could have been nothing more than a fake out on the 20, 75 base point rate hike. And it's possible if this doesn't play out as a bull flag and it starts playing down that we could in fact come back down and have a short opportunity opening up. But I prefer to wait, see, and see if we hit this downtrending support as resist or uh, downtrending resistance as support. XRP Future Millionaire, I encourage you to join me on copy trading. I don't just speak it, I own it. So make sure you're joining, make sure you're taking advantage of some of these times in history. And even if we're losing money, you can see the way I trade. And you can understand a quicker pace because if you understand the leverage trading, imagine how much easier it's going to be for you to copy trade. But I mean, if you understand that part, imagine how much easier it's going to be from you not leverage trading and buying in your long positions. Because guys, I'm going to be unveiling my, my buys for the future. But what I'm going to do is put $15, $20 in each of them. And I'm going to have a running list 
and I'm going to show you by day or by every couple days exactly what my list is and exactly what I'm going to own. So most of you guys know right now in my bag, I have 1,222 XRP, 1,222 XLM, 12,222 DGB, I believe it is, or 22,222, I always forget. Um, what is it? I want to say it's either two, I think 2,222 shares of V-Chain and Zill as well. I've got a few files, but I'm going to show you everything that I'm going to own, and then I'm going to show you how I build it up. So you're going to watch me progress and build it up just like we used to, and it's going to be very fun. Very, very fun. And in the beginning, I'm only going to put 10 or 15 bucks in each. It might be a couple hundred bucks total, and then you guys are going to see how we fill that out. So now the downturning support, as you can see right there, it looks the same in the USDT. XLM is right at a key level. We're going to see if it can hold 10.97 approximately, yeah, about 10.97. Or we might come down to 1077, but we're almost completed with this bullish divergence. So honestly, it looks like we're either gonna hold this cup and handle, create a bullish handle, and then come up to about 11.5, possibly 11.4. Otherwise, we'd come back down into that ascent and the, uh, the downtrending resistance if that were to not play out as support. Same thing with DGB, it's identical to XLM. We're either gonna hold this 1041 and come up a little bit higher and finish off this divergence, or this is gonna top off here. And then we'll slowly but surely work our way back down to first 01025 and then 986. Hit that motherfucking like button. Nobody does it like I do.